It's certainly very impactive actually just driving up here um, this afternoon. Um, very conscious that uh, on Tuesday our, our two officers, Fiona and Nicola, would have driven up here in the same way, uh, attending to a burglary, doing their duty. Um, and sadly, as you know, they met their deaths. Today I have been with the families of both officers. Fiona's family talked about someone who loved going camping uh, and actually started a competition on her shift for who could have the biggest tent. Uh, she talk they talked about how Fiona went to a, a particular incident involving a, 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 an elderly lady who had uh, suffered a crime and Fiona went back off duty uh, with flowers and visited the, the, the woman a number of times to make sure she was all right. And Claire, Fiona's partner, was there, uh, obviously very upset, uh, talking about how they'd been planning uh, for their civil partnership and how they were looking forward to a life together. I've also been with Nicholas' family today. They talked about somebody who, who loved karate, uh, although she was very small in stature, um, she was a real fighter. Um, indeed, on, on her shift, uh, if there was a big fence to be climbed uh, or whatever, she tended to be the one who was picked up and thrown over the fence. Um, on one occasion, when they were trying to get into a house, um, she actually got in through the dog flap uh, because she was so small. Um, again, she actually uh, again dealt with um, an elderly victim, uh, an elderly gentleman who had been subject of a fraud. And again, she went back off duty to visit the elderly man again uh, to uh, help him with his paperwork and visited him again on a number of occasions. They also talked about an incident when she was driving along in a police van um, and came across two cats in the middle of the road um, and she stopped um, and actually found that there was a mouse there as well and she rescued the mouse um, and took it down the road to some open ground um, and let it go. So two wonderful human beings, two very dedicated officers and two very, very proud families, obviously devastated by their loss. They asked me to pass on their huge appreciation for the massive show of public support. Uh, we've had over 30,000 messages of condolence uh, on our website. You may have heard there's actually a Twitter account set up by police officers around the country offering to come here to Greater Manchester uh, to be on duty so that other officers, uh, our officers can attend the funerals of the two, uh, two, uh, two deceased colleagues. So as I say, the families are just overwhelmed by the huge support they are getting right across the country. And as I say, this is just a, a huge comfort to them in a very, very difficult time.